you tell us something about Chris that we might not, people might not know that you think would be important or meaningful for him to know? Yeah, I think that, and you'll see this a little bit in American Wife, but he was very romantic and extraordinarily soft with me from the beginning and with the kids, and yet he was innately a good man. And I think he knew what that was as far as being strong but he could see that, for example, if there was something he needed to change, he didn't just say, I'm sorry, I'll work on that. He didn't say it until he knew darn well that he was going to be fully invested in changing a behavior. And when he set his mind to it, he could do it in a way that I haven't seen anybody else do. He also laughed with our kids. I mean, I honestly can't think of maybe but you know five to ten days if I really, really tried to think where he wasn't at some point laughing with our children. But he expected them to look him in the eye to shake other people's hands, to have manners, but not to the point where they had to say yes, sir, to him, unless, like at one point, they kind of got out of the habit of saying it to a bunch of other adults, and he said, well, for a while, why don't you just say it at home so you get in the habit of when an adult <laughs> is speaking to you, you say it. And, um, and I just found that it was so charming and so beautiful how he was affectionate and cuddly with our kids, held them to a high standard, played with him and laughed with him. You know, he just seemed like this amazing combination of a person. And when I look back and see the stress that he was under, and I know it more now than I did then, that for him to do all of that while he was grieving the loss of his friends, while he was trying to get over trauma and war, trying to make his marriage work, what an incredible human being to never give up and to always rise to the challenge that was in front of him. I think that, um, yeah, I could tell you funny stories all day long, but to me, those are the interesting qualities that I find rare today, that somebody can be all of those things in, in one person. Do the children seem the way you hope they'll see? They do. You know, I heard before Chris died, I remember having a conversation with him. You know, with our life the way it was and our friends dying, we had a lot of conversations about death. and. Um, I remember one of my friends saying that people will forget the way, uh, what, what you tell them, and they'll forget what you did with them, but they will never forget the way you made them feel. And as a parent, you know, we're always trying to do things better, but we screw up and we do all these things. But at the end of the day, I think that's comforting. And we always said that if something ever happened to one of us, you know, at least the people we left behind would know how much we loved them. And that's the gift my, my kids have, is that this really incredible person who was flawed, didn't expect perfection from them, didn't expect um, them to follow everything he liked. You know, he said their path is their path, and, um, and he loved them. And that's something that I think is the biggest gift for the children and for me is that we have no doubts. When it comes to love, we have no doubts.